All right, guys. Once that again, I am Ender awesome. with Hardcore Battlefield. That is www.facebook.com/hardcorebattlefield. I am also with Eternal Nemesis Clan. That's facebook.com/forward/slash/enclan or twitch.tv Eternal underscore Nemesis. And co-commentating with me today is Tram. And Tram, you are with Formfield. Facebook.com/slash/formfield and h1z1 survivors that engine.com there it is and there's form feel field watermark there at least get that up there looks like we're watching the new kill zone no it's just the added version added thing to the battle phone if that wasn't enough shooter for Looks you, like, I brought in the like onslaught mode. Hardline, Steve yeah, on, I wasn't really paying attention. So you guys yet. got some big news today. You guys uh, revealed a beta. Yeah, we certainly did. Uh, we announced a beta at our press conference. We had instant access. And I will be right back while we're kicking this off. It, it looks like people are having fun so far, I hope. Nice. So, Battlefield Hardline, a little bit different. This isn't military. This is uh, cops and criminals. Tell me a little bit about the high-level gameplay. Well, the high-level gameplay really comes nice. down to that cop versus criminal fantasy. It's uh, something that I think a lot of us have grown up with. Uh, you see it on TV. You see it in uh, the films. So, really, when it comes to gameplay modes, what we're showing in our beta is heist, where the criminals are out to get a big score and the cops are trying to stop them. And then blood money, where there's a pile of cash that's sitting in the middle of the map, where the cops are trying to get that cash, bring it back as evidence, and of course the criminals are trying to take it away. Nice. And I want to I know got a All right. couple of minutes to try it out. Just I'm back. To get a taste. But I really like Dubs, how's everything looking and sounding on your end? Very different than other battlefield games we played. That's right, Sid. His nose is like a shark. <laughs> Who are you talking about? All new for Battlefield Hardline. A couple of my favorite the, zip line. The guy that was uh, talking about the uh, kill zone. Around the environment, it really oh. the verticality of the map, and it can create that some really funny. cool moments and really neat getaways. Awesome. Well, that Battlefield Hardline beta it's out now on PS4. Head over to EA.com. You can find out all the details or how to register Jesus, for a chance Dubs, to get 42 in. and 11. Now, I think we're getting closer and closer. To the start of the press conference, let's hear from Meredith and Anthony. Are you getting real weird bursts of sound every once in a while? That's not my end, right? That's their audio. What do you mean? Like goes low and then loud again? Yeah, kind of like a dropout. Yeah, every once in a while. Uh, Dubs, what sound is low on the video on the E3? All right, I'm gonna restart this tram when we uh, once it gets live here. Oh, I'm not even watching okay. it on ours. I'm gonna go through our little speech again. That way, we can clip it right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cool. All right, Dubs, give me an update. The E3. All right, cool. Let me fix it. Is that too loud? Alright guys, I think we are live. I am Ender with Hardcore Battlefield Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Hardcore Battlefield. And Eternal Nemesis, facebook.com forward slash Eternal Nemesis. And co-commentating with me is Tram. And Tram, you are with... Formfield at facebook.com slash Formfield and h1z1survivors.engine.com. We are here with the live Sony press conference here at E3 and here we go and you keep forgetting hardline community and the hardline community it's too many to name all right dubs how's that now let's see what game they're going with first 
Come on, Dram, call it, call it, call it. I'm gonna guess Mission to Mars. Oh, I was close. Doom. It's the new Doom. Has to be. Nice. I don't know. Maybe it's that movie Rocket Man, the game. All right, Dubs. Thank you very much. And Where's the Dubs stream at for you right now? Our admin. Say again. Where's the stream at for you right now? It is on this weird planet mapping star map looking thing. Too bad it wasn't a pentagon. Okay, is it showing three guys looking at another planet? Well, not now. Uh, no. It's now it's back in the conference room. Mercury. Oh, I'm still a little behind yours. Human life Which sucks. It was a time you think it's Doom also? Miracles. That's what I thought. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our And Dubs, Dubs here, who's going to be live streaming like soon. We're just getting his channel set up. Dubs, if you want to drop that there in the, the chat, channel. it'll pop up for everybody who's watching or may watch in the future in the top right. Dubs, go ahead and drop play? the channel. Centuries after our golden age. What system he play on? He is on PC. Found us. Ah. And that was the end. Of Get PlayStation the 4 Master Race. <laughs> oh god, here we go. <laughs> it's Halo. Halo 5. Wait, wrong system. I'll say at a PlayStation event. <laughs> they could piss everybody off and go to the PlayStation exclusive. We've always known the darkness would it looks like the thing from Portal. <laughs> to finish what it started. Dubs, I don't know why that didn't rap, dude. On the chat. It does kind of, it looks like Halo. Destiny. That's why I've been looking for you for centuries. Oh yeah. There are only a few of you. Was it the guy with the robes and the boots that were giving it away? Who have the strength? Robe. No, the robot guy. Oh. Oh, Nocturnal <laughs> called it Destiny. You are Earth. I was right. That's what I thought. Yeah, I don't know why this is. This is the game Sublime's looking forward to. Yeah. I've got it pre-ordered, but. All right, guys, down in the little uh, scrolling text bar is you can see Dubs' link there. Could have just done it that way. That is his channel. Please go follow him as well. Good friend of mine. His link's still there on my link on mine. Uh, it cut it off up in the on the on screen chat. So if you guys oh. aren't watching chat, um, so I've got it down there on this little scroller bar. No pressure. Yeah, this does look pretty good. Time will tell. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. What's the release date on that? September 9th. September 9th. Yep. Destiny. The massive multiplayer Ladies online and game. Gentlemen, please welcome Andrew House. Andrew House. Yeah. Fuck, the stream just froze for me. There it goes. Good evening. How we doing? Welcome Andrew House. Thank you for being here tonight, and thanks to the millions that of people weird sound. Uh, watching live across the world. It was only a yeah, it came from the trailer and then came to, to the voice, and it was all out online. And share weird. our vision for the future of gaming and entertainment. Our vision is grounded in an uncompromising commitment to gamers that ensures PlayStation. He sounds kind of like a woman. All else, the best place to play. Yeah, but he's one of the masterminds behind the PlayStation 4, so he can sound like a girl. It means the highest visual quality. He was probably the interior designer choice. for the 
and it the means office. not being a lone gamer, <laughs> <I'm> just saying, <laughs> but a member of an extensive community of rivals and friends. The Destiny trailer that kicked off tonight's show is the embodiment of our vision. All right, I can hear this. From its graphic fidelity to its dynamic Sound coming through your speakers. Okay. To its deeply immersive gameplay. Destiny will help define this next generation of gaming. There, I kicked it down like a little. Like so many of the world's biggest and best games, you'll yeah. be able to play Destiny first on PlayStation. I guess because I was leaning forward. Yeah, my internet's kind of slower Millions than most of your guys' Millions have been eagerly awaiting the Destiny beta. Tonight, I'm excited to announce that Bro, PlayStation gamers for me? will get their hands on it first, starting July 17th. And for those PlayStation fans who can't wait until next month for the beta to start, we've got something extra special for PS4. Starting this Thursday and lasting through the weekend, PS4 owners around the world will get a chance to play the Destiny First Look Alpha. Ooh. This Thursday, the Visit Alpha? the website behind me. Four. It says, hoping it's there. Destiny. To be a part of the first gameplay experience that is only available on PS4. But Destiny is just not want to play for me. PlayStation, it's better. In addition to all of the extra channel. content that only PlayStation customers will receive, I'm happy to announce our first ever white PlayStation 4 that comes... Our first ever white PlayStation 4? Because they don't sell skins for $29.99. That you can make it white With or an orange or blue. With exclusive Destiny User bundle that will make available when the game releases on September 9th. The bundle includes a 500 gigabyte Glacier White PS4, a white DualShock 4, the game, and a 30-day voucher for, PS for PlayStation Plus. Thank you to our friends at Bungie and Activision. Thank you, Bungie. Destiny looks stunning on PS4, and I know you're going to love playing it on PlayStation. Destiny is just the tip of the iceberg in looking oh, at I just all of the PlayStation 4 hands, games that we'll show tonight. Good thing that are either backup. exclusive to PS4, look better, feature exclusive content, or the ability to pay it before any other platform. Let's now take a look at another new IP that will be available only on PlayStation 4. Gosh, PlayStation 4 got... I don't. So did PC and... PlayStation get the beta for uh, Hardline? I thought it was just PlayStation at first, and then I heard P the PC did Ready. too. Well, you said, obviously, Power's it did, Doug, but not on uh, X1. Proceed with caution. You still there, Trim? I think we lost him. User disconnected from your channel. Can you hear me? Yep. Fucking A. Alright, adding your link on here. What, do you know uh, what is your Facebook URL off the top of your head? For your oh, form? Uh, Facebook.com slash form field. Is it? Okay. Let me get this squared away here, guys. One second. The video's not wanting to play on my PlayStation now for me. Looks 
kind of frightening, if you ask me. That looks like it is the order. 1894 and a half and a quarter. 1896, 1882. Yeah, it won't play on my PlayStation, so I'm going to go ahead and play Battlefield Hardline while we're watching this. What did you say, Tram? I'm going to play Hardline while we're watching this because oh, okay. it won't let me. Uh, this is the order. What is it? 1882? 1886. Six. Son of a bitch. That's kind of close. Fuck. Which part of this is on it? Don't play it. Which part of it is what? The stream. He's shooting the monster right now. Yep. Right there. Same spot. Alrighty. You play that Cross dub, you tap that. I like that. I want that as my gaming room right there. That whole PlayStation setup. That is sweet. I think this is Parappa the Rapper for next gen. Height, heist, high tension. Alright, you guys, I am playing Hardline while we're playing this. Or watching this. I wish there was a way, Tram, we could pull your feet in the corner. That'd be cool. There probably is. You just probably gotta figure it out. Well, I'd make it look nice. It's hard. To... You know what, Tram? If you wanna fire up your stream, get it going. I'll pull it in right after this. How about that, guys? We'll go straight into Hardline. Hard, hard on? Hard line? Right after this. Oh, hard on. So, yeah, go ahead and kick it off, Tram, and then I'll, I'll just uh, take me nothing to... Whoa, that's interesting looking. I'll pull your stream in. Oh, shit, dude. After uh, the PlayStation stream? Carnegie Mellon's Entertainment Technology Center and the San Jose State University. After, yeah, after the PlayStation, I'll grab Hardline. I'll grab your game playing pull it on the channel. Oh, dude. Okay, options. It's a game about two Sensitivity's got to go way up. And here go to 60. That visibility down to 40 or 30. They haven't added the... Uh, HUD size down to zero, and I just told it not to save. I'm here, Tram. Send you a Facebook message. Do what? I just sent you a Facebook message. Each lifetime draws to a close with your dragon blazing a trail across the sky with living paint. No. And it lets you create your own aerial sculpture. I went 18 and 3 in this round. Entwined is a unique Entwined, game that is the name of this game. Really hopes that you all enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. That's great. Oh, I haven't even started live streaming yet. I'm waiting until closer to the end of this. Hi everybody, I'm Scott Rohde, head of Worldwide Studios for North America. <laughs> Thank you. If you couldn't tell, I absolutely love this game and I'm really excited for that young team. It's a beautiful, mesmerizing experience. And here's the best part. It's got the M16A3. have to wait Sorry. to get your hands on Entwined. The PS4 version is available right now in the PlayStation Store for $9.99. Okay. with PS3 and Vita to follow as part of our cross-buy program. You can even pull up your PlayStation app on your phone right now and order it, and it'll be waiting for you to get home. Look at that guy. Big old grin on his face. 
So just as entwined surrounds you in beauty and mystique. Okay, does it keep loading for you too? The second sun immersed uh -huh. you in a visual spectacle. Didn't know. And raise the Negative. bar on groundbreaking performance okay. capture. The team at Sucker Punch Me playing has this been game at the same time. A new piece of standalone DLC yeah. that will be available later this summer. Might be. You don't need to own Second Son to play the DLC, but if you do, you'll get some exclusive content. Please, let's take a look. Yeah, I think, Tram, you're having problems, right? On your yeah. PS4. I don't know if the app's not working that well. It wouldn't surprise me. Hello? No, no, I'm on my computer now. I'm Pete Smith. One I'm kill and I've been to show you a little promoted. Bit it for the first time on PlayStation 4. So Sackboy's here, he's back. And he's very pleased to be here. And I'm going to take you through this level and show you some of the cool new features we've got in the game. So the first thing you'll notice... There's only two people on the other team. More depth ...than we've ever had in the game before. I never did play this now game, I don't know. The many new power -ups have you, have that you either of you guys in the chat this here, whoever's in here, later. seen and this? It can pump her, and I can use it to pump this wheel. Or played it. I've never... Tram, you probably played the little big planet or whatever. This is our no, not really. I Hi, have I'm a pl Sup. little big planet too, you but. To Sup, boy? Well, for starters. But that's because it was free. I can wall jump. I wasn't it one of the launch yes, games can, for guys. PS3. I remember it being like a stable. Uh, I think so. Ooh. Keep attention, going, guys. Keep attention. <laughs> what did you think of it, Dubs? Um, I'm not oh, sure about the infamous hey! DLC. Ask Tram might know. <laughs> I'm also much faster than that boy, and I can use my super speed to power things. Am I getting any feedback from the and into you stream? Introduce you guys to a new friend called Toggle. No, but I think I'm gonna hop off the live stream and go ahead and go over to Hardline. Okay, are you streaming now? No, I'm gonna stream here in a little bit. I'm about to hop into a thing with Thai. Okay. Um, send me a send me a message and then I'll pop your stream in as, if it's down right when this is over. Alrighty. Okay. So as well. If you're okay with that, I have to get your permission. So I don't copyright. No, you you. You can't use my stream. I'll pay you fifty percent of whatever I make on the stream. Sound good? Heavy toggle. And reveal another 50 percent of zero. Yeah, that sounds sweet. great. Yeah, I was gonna say, Dub, you're my <laughs> financial manager, so you do the math. Fifty percent of zero. <laughs> we'll shake on it. All right, All right I'll uh, shoot me a message when you're ready, dude. We'll flip over there and watch you. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, the graphics look cool, Dubs. I mean, you know which one? I I don't remember when they're gonna debut it or unveil it or whatever you want to call it, but um, the new Odd World. I remember playing those on the original PlayStation. That was pretty cool. Just the puzzle type game. I've been hearing about that for a while. I think it was in a Game Informer, but I don't recall. But I saw something that it's supposed to pop up here. Thank you very much. And the other one. Good stuff. Now I'm going to use my pump and to And uh, Dub sound. Everything's okay. The thing is, I can't hear what you're hearing, so. <laughs> I'm relying on you to let me know if something sounds terrible. 
Oh. Just call her out. Okay, we both. Oh, they killed me! Now that wasn't meant to happen. Right, let's both go through together. This time, guys, this time. One, two, three. That's it. <laughs> so now we've this set, with this section we need to get to the platform high up on the right. And we can all do it in different ways. So I'm gonna right, set man. Boy, he's one of Sat Boy's new abilities, which is climbing. Toggle can wall jump. Uh, sorry, do you have uh, team speak reinstalled dubs? Yeah, Toggle <laughs> can use his weight on the spring to go heavy and then small and launch himself up and sweep can fly up. Oh, oh, oh come and get me. Yeah. Ah. Oh, we're all jumping. Thank you. <laughs> go get me, please. Go. And you, Sackboy. Thank you. <laughs> so the abilities are really great when you cooperate together as well. Okay, no worries. If you did, I was going to tell you, dude, I'm on TeamSpeak. That's how we're talking right now. I'm going to tell you to hop in, but no worries if you don't. Not a big deal. Right. We can jump through. And we can move up. Alright, everyone, let's do some one go. One, two, three! The uh, PS4 yeah, graphics still guys. amazing. I, mean, I think they're only going to get better for go, 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 not go, go, another go. year, I would say. I mean, I don't know how that typically works, but oh it just, oh just God. even playing uh, <laughs> BF4 <laughs> on the PS4 was just like, holy crap! Can my mind even handle this right now? Pretty amazing. Come on, come on. Come on. Alright, Deb, I'll get you the info. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do without your Thanks again. <laughs> okay, now this last section, Toggle can go down and pull the sponge and let us through. Brilliant. And I'll, as Sat Boy, I'll use the Pumpinator to return the favour. And then we can all get into the rocket and we can blast off out of the level. Oh, Toggle, I think you're going to need to go heavy. Sorry well done, everyone. That. Good stuff. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do this off the top of my head here, Dubs. Or, uh, yeah, Dubs. I'm going to shoot you a Facebook message. I believe this is what the team speak. Thank you, everyone. We're going to go leave you with a little bit more of Little Big Planet on PlayStation 4. Thank you. I sent you the, um, that's the server channel name, and then the last one's a password. When you come in, make sure that you have your uh, computer sound down, so you don't have a looping sound. Horrible feedback. the hell was that? Rainbow Man? It's like a dirty ass sock with a rainbow. Who the hell made this game? Do you have to be on freaking acid or something? you enjoy the demo of Little Big Planet 3. The creative community of Little Big Planet has been very active. And by today, over 8.7 million levels have been created and shared yeah, by the community. Yeah, I don't think it'd be bad, Nocturnal. On Little Big Planet and Little I'm always, Big Planet I don't know why, I've always been kind of interested in those. And I'm very happy to announce that when LBP3 launches, you can just go online and play any of this vast catalog of user-generated levels on LBP3. With improved graphics on PS4. It's gonna be great fun for the whole family this Christmas. 
But Little Big Planet 3 is just one of the great variety of titles that our Worldwide Studios teams are developing for PS4. And tonight, I get the honor of introducing a completely new IP from one of the industry's most respected game, game directors. This is a project that is very dear to my heart if you know me and our history with the developer. Welcome to the world of Bloodborne. What do we have here? Call it nocturnal. What is it? What is it? Or dubs from software? Oddworld. It's Oddworld. The Evil Within. How the hell do you guys know this stuff? I need to get out of my battlefield level. Holy shit. You wouldn't find him in a petting zoo. Are you guys 100% on that? On the game? Fifteen. Oh, here we go, here we go. Far Cry. I heard this is another really good one to play. Our goal with Far Cry is to create beautiful, exotic, and dangerous locations, fill them with weapons, vehicles, and toys, and let you create your own story. This year with Far Cry 4, we invite you to visit Karat, a country soaked in secret history filled with weaponized animals and ruled by an eccentric despot. Good luck. Yeah, I'll probably be getting this one. Almost, I think it was... I don't remember. A while back I actually thought about buying it. Look at them graphics. Okay. I'll head in that direction. What the? Were they nocturnal? I thought so. That's what I've heard. Maybe that wouldn't be cool. AJ Gale. 
Ooh, mountain climbing gear. Oh, wingsuit. That's oh. That's freaking sweet. Dubs, can you tell me how to look it up? I'm I wasn't really sure if I gave you the right info. Without disconnecting from the channel and all that crap, I don't know how to look at the settings. If you know how to do it without disconnecting, let me know. Oh wait. Insufficient permissions. Is it fine line between feeding the plumas or not enough? It's got like a battlefield hit detector thing. You see that? That was badass. Oh! <laughs> Brutal. It's got like a little battlefield block uh, indicator. Oh, wingsuit, wingsuit. There you go. Yeah. I want to see the dude fail this part and bounce off the rocks. That's pretty cool. So nocturnal, it's like really open world, right? And you have to like scavenge, you know, sca scavenge, scavenge. We need some help taking this place down. Herc, back me up. Someone call for a tug or a gyrocopter. No, this is gonna be the tablet stuff. Watch. Maybe not. I thought they were gonna do something kind of like um, the division where you join in on tablets. Cause that seems to be the hot thing to do now. So how granular is it, Nocturnal? Uh, well, the old part, right? You have to like... All right, let's do this. Don't you have to maintain your weapons or you have to find food? Or, I guess to what level of you to know? If you had to summarize. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. That's not like a game too. This game. Oh. That looks like a man in that thing. Welcome, Adam Boys. Hello, Adam. That looks pretty great. 
I remember getting mauled a ton in, uh, by tigers in Far Cry 3, so I really look forward to getting a revenge in the Himalayan mountains with a weaponized pachyderm. I mean, come on. You know, this November, User when you buy Far channel. Cry 4 on either PS3 or you there, PS4, dubs? you can invite your PSN friends to join you, even if they don't own the game. Yeah. Dubs. And you'll only be able to do that Hear on me? PlayStation. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. I turn off the mic. Oh, okay. Um, Through social media, Nocturnal, like how does dub sound on your end? Like since you can't really... Well, you might be able to sound test it. connected to you, the gamers, all around the world. And we love hearing from you. I mean, it sounds uh, fine. Can you hear me? Recently, we invited you to send us Sorry, some letters about, that. about how you feel of PlayStation and what kinds of games you want to see in the future. Let's check out some of those Is he letters that you too loud or us. too quiet, Nocturnal? Just right. The common theme that you guys wrote in about I, I have all that going through I mean, my speakers, so I actually have no action. sound coming through my headset. Let's see what's been festering in the undead Mic test, mic test. I can hear you. What is this? Oh, is this... This H1Z1? He's a bit loud. Alright, drop your volume a little bit there, dude. Just a little. <laughs> That's awesome. I would say it's H1Z1, right? You know there's zombie games coming out. Oh, that's... That's pretty cool. You still there, Dad? I'm still here. Yeah, not quite on my end, but how's it sound now, Nocturnal? Hold on. Seriously, bro? <laughs> Sweet. I'm still here. <laughs> Freaking awesome! Let's go! Dude, chill! I got this! What'd you say, Dub? Oh, Dead Island, I was wrong. How many damn zombie games are coming out? New meaning to the term fresh kicks, right? <laughs> At PlayStation, we love us some shambling goodness. Whether it's zombies, walkers, or the infected. Most of you know it sounds alright. Okay, I think you sound good, Dubs. Yeah. But what you didn't know is that it's also going to be infecting Diablo 3 in the Ultimate Evil Edition launching August 19th. Yes. You'll be able to battle clickers, bloaters, and stalkers in an exclusive themed dungeon. And Blizzard has integrated them deeply into the game so they have their own special attacks. I seriously cannot wait to play Adventure Mode. Now, many of you also wrote in and thanked us for bringing you special perks and benefits on PlayStation. And Lee, we love nothing more than trying new things and bringing new opportunities to you, the PlayStation Nation, before anybody else. Now, you just saw Dead Island 2 debut. It will have a 30-day exclusive beta, as well as a full exclusive character class and level, only on PS4. And earlier today, we are part of EA's announcement of a special beta for Battlefield Hardline. It's available right now exclusively for consoles on PS4. No, it's not. Battlefield Hardline takes the cops and robbers fantasy we all played when we were kids, but then it goes to a whole new level with awesome action, stunning visuals, and a grappling hook. Come on. Now let's take a look at an exclusive new world premiere gameplay trailer for Battlefield Hardline. Another trailer? Sky 5 can confirm a large police presence in downtown Los Angeles. 
Yeah, this is it right here is what I like. You still with us, Dubs? Not going anywhere. Cool. Yeah, I would be playing hardline. Actually, we're gonna tram got in. I can't get into hardline. I'll try again when we're showing his gameplay. I did sign up for the beta, so I should be getting in shortly. And my argument is, if they don't think I should be one of the first, they can go look at my battle log hours between BF3 and BF4 and tell me I shouldn't. I oh I'd laugh if there's some Bravo rubber banding on there demo. Jam. <laughs> and you know, Play at First isn't limited just to betas. We're happy to announce a new partnership with Disney, which will bring exclusive content to our platform this year. Disney. The only place you can Hulk smash in Disney Infinity Two. Disney is making the new Battlefield. Did you hear that? The no, I made Hulk that up. We'll join five other Avengers in this exclusive Disney Infinity Two Collector's Edition for PS3 and PS4. There you go, Nocturnal. Pretty cool. The Disney Collector's finally, Edition. As Andy mentioned earlier, there's always going to be more of Destiny on PlayStation. On launch day, you can get a Pooh Bear get furry costume. Exclusive in-game content from unique weapons, armor sets, gear, kick-ass ships, as well as Exodus, an exclusive competitive multiplayer map. And the best part, an entire exclusive strike on Mars. Strikes are standalone, unique. Co-op opportunity or co-op adventures where you get hey, to die the Man. bosses. There's literally too much great content to detail tonight. But needless to say, when Destiny comes to PlayStation this year, it will do so first. It's Gamer eight six six coming in to stroll troll my stream. Well, Smash is right. Can't get my words right. Now a lot of you ask for brand new things that you've never seen on the platform before. <laughs> oh, this just a guess, not a great example of that. I'm proud to announce a new partnership with Paradox Interactive. Every single Paradox Studio is currently Paradox. working on an exclusive PlayStation 4 game. And here's a look at their first one. Paradox is proud to present user-created watchdog. Oh wait, it's already out. Twelve hundred and thirty one days of unemployment. <laughs> Power Rangers? <laughs> Ooh, Emily's in here. And Gamer. Wizard Wars? Magicka Wizard Wars. What is that, Dubs? Hey, good call. It's good call. some game. I don't know what the hell it is. Never seen it before, but I think, uh, is that not something? I think I know how to spell pretty well, and I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell Magicka. But uh, just saying. Yeah, I've been missing your presence. Have you been the updating? Was, I just never played it. Kind of oh, really? I I've never heard of it. I don't know my games that well, actually. Can do anything. Can it do miracles? I'm only 12 years old, so I was not alive when some of the best games ever made came out. Now a lot of them are gone forever. The player masterpiece. Like, for instance, one of Tim yes, Schafer's old adventure games. I, have. I would have to pirate it, and that's not nice. Please, is there anything you can do to bring great games? Like one of Tim Schafer's Back from the Dead. 
Sincerely, Sally T, age 10. Oh, well, that's bullshit. Okay, so she was Little kid didn't write that. They just had some dude do it with his left hand. I know that. Oldest Let's trick in the book. That that's got knuckle hair. I think that's a 10 or 12 year old. Yep. <laughs> pan it up a bit. That's not a 12 year old beard. Okay, bring it all the way out. That's Tim Mulligan and Schaefer. Okay, Sally. All right. Get the poll from our social media. We have some media. great news for you and the fans. Miss Generous. After where's uh, years, where's Mr. Generous at? In tandem with our third-party production team, we'll be remastering your classic adventure game, Grim Fandango. Okay. Dubs, do you know this one? It will be coming exclusively to both PS4 and PS Vita, thanks to the relationship with our good friends at Disney. Looks like it's time to get to work, Sally. Maybe start with a little shave. Sally, Tim, Sally, Tim, Sally. Okay, that's one of my favorite games of um, all time. You've also told us that you guys love a wide range of crazy seen and diverse games. Yes, I do. This next partner shares our love and support Any. of independent, independent developers and has brought fantastic games, Oddworld, fantastic games to PlayStation, like Vlambeer's Luftrausers, and Denetons like a Grim Reaper. Miami. Devolver Digital and their main man, Fork Parker, have been working on an awesome slate Looks of new kind titles, of familiar. and we've officially joined forces. All of the following titles you're about to see oh, he's on the channel? making their console debut exclusively Hi, on the Hi, Mr. Generous Steak. Probably watching the official one now. Grim. that one game with the two soldiers um, remember that game my uh, guerrilla warfare I think it was on the original Nintendo then yes you remember that game dubs or did you ever play it no I haven't played it that was that was a good game that and Battletoads I think I'd sell my PS4 to play it and Battletoads Double Dragon Taylor's. The Taylor's. Okay. Sounds familiar. You know, yeah, I'm sure you've heard of Battletoads, though. You have to have. You know, after watching the likes of Brobocop and Bronan the Brobarian and Broforce, I can't help but bro out all of our PlayStation names. We've got Andrew Brohouse, Scott Brody, Bro Hey Bro Sheeta, right? Okay. I'll move, yeah, I'll move along. So here's another letter that we got that I really liked. Every time I play a game, I get to experience the I've imagination heard about of an artist, and you'll never know where that will take you. This is That's an awesome true. game. The um, incredibly Emily is original game Jenny in our channel, or is there another one? One creator the main, who has the pushed artistic boundaries in gaming official with inspired channel. stories and offbeat worlds is Suda51. <laughs> and his next twisted trip is only coming to PlayStation 4. Let's check it out. Of course, otherwise you wouldn't be here right now. You'd be announcing it on another part of the E3 conference. Level 13 or 14, whatever it's called. Looks like an MMO. Wanna take bets on it, Doug? Well, glad you support us. Tell me now. Let me find it. Mad Max? Agree. It kind of looks like an MMO. 
Good God. That's brutal. Kinda of cool, but don't know. Video games, is. right? <laughs> you know what that game doesn't remind me of? Journey. <laughs> Journey took us on an incredible adventure. Giant squid. In I've heard of them. What do they make? Nava's stunning art direction and composer Austin Wintory's Grammy nominated score. They're teaming up again at Matt's new studio, Giant Squid. Let's see the world premiere of their brand new game. It's Echo, the dolphin. It has to be. I'm probably wrong. Sim fish. That's what it is. Sim ocean. It's Nemo. I'm sure that was said about a thousand times just two seconds ago. They're going to the Gungan Palace or whatever it is from Star Wars. Fighter, fighter. Ah. I watched a YouTube video the other day where they exploded one of those whales. That's pretty cool. They like washed up on a beach and they popped it. It was insane. I don't think I've seen that movie all the way through. Abzu. Okay, I will be right back, guys. I need to use the restroom. Beautiful. And Abzu will make its exclusive console debut on PS4. Just look at the staggering range of content coming to PlayStation Network. All of it pushing creativity and innovation. Thanks to all the developers for bringing your amazing games to PlayStation. It means a ton to us. Thank you for the letters, and thanks to all of our fans for loving games the same way we do. I can't believe I get to do this every single day. Please keep the feedback coming. We're always listening. Our goal at PlayStation is pretty simple, to surprise and amaze you, and we're just getting started. So I'm going to leave you guys with one last game that surprised and amazed me and will make its console debut on PS4. Please enjoy. All right, I'm back. Everybody here? What is this? I agree with Miss Generous, must be Lion King. 
<laughs> well, hell yeah, dude. I remember when Simba went to Tatooine or the Death Star. That's what it is, Star Wars. Nocturnal, I swear to God, if you get this right. Now that's an X Wing right there. I, I know what the cockpit of an X Wing fighter looks like. Right? No Man's Land? I, how do you hear about these games not coming, dude? I need to be a good tool for this type of thing. You need to go get a microphone and get on TeamSpeak because I'm pretty ignorant of what I'm doing this right now. <laughs> it does kind of have that look, doesn't it? Like that. Sunlight, I guess. Did it just say they were at Labia Majora? No Man's Sky. It doesn't oh. look like No Man's... What the... Thank you. Feeling a lot of emotions right now. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm from Hello Games. We're a tiny little indie studio. <laughs> we're a group of friends making No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. It's a science fiction game. I guess inspired by the kind of sci-fi that really was a guess, not the cool. It's No Man's Sky, I was looking it Heinlein, up. Heinlein, Asimov, Clark. Just worlds that I wanted to escape to, but never could. We've created a procedural universe. How the hell do you look it up that fast? Infinite, and it's one that oh, everyone like, can What share. do you search for? We're going to start Fans. every player on a different planet, so no two people will have the same experience. You're off this by one. Universe well, created, wrong is wrong, it's Nocturnal. So vast, I'm sorry. It's so boundless, you didn't win. It's actually infinite. And we don't even know what's out Let's there. No cigar. When the game releases, every player who picks up a pad and plays. Look it up, uh, is see the closest name, but new more. gen. And I mm. can't wait. I want to finish with just a tiny taste of what your own unique journey into infinity might look like. Hope you like it. Don't act like you're scared of public speaking too much, buddy. He's all like looking at the ground, looking down. So, is this a PS4 exclusive or. Who, me? No, this game. Is it a PS4 exclusive or what do we know yet? That looks pretty cool. Point to those sci-fi games. You don't get partial credit, nocturnal pass or fail. Oh god. Yeah, I'm sure people are just mining up to watch that and it's generous. 16 and pregnant? Don't even start it. Wow, mind slightly blown. Thank you very much, Sean, and, and thanks to Adam. Uh, a key focus for tonight has been demonstrating why PlayStation delivers the best place to play today and in the future. You've seen that in the diverse portfolio of games coming from our worldwide studios and our close partners. And we're also bringing this to life in new ways with hardware. When we designed PS4, we made a conscious decision to make it the most powerful gaming console ever created and surround it with breakthrough games, Food features, network capabilities, and peripherals that together go watch redefine 16 next gen gaming. Pregnant or something. A key peripheral that we've offered to PS4 gamers since launch as a choice is the PlayStation camera. I mean, she's used to it. We believe that the PlayStation camera would be a popular option because of the value. She's known me for years gaming, now. But the response has She's far exceeded our expectations. And we're enhancing the value of the PlayStation camera and what it brings to PS4 
by pursuing new innovative technology that takes gaming. See what to they're gonna say here about the hardware. Oh, there it is. Project Morpheus. At GDC in March, we unveiled Project Morpheus, which demonstrates how we are fully leveraging the power of the PlayStation camera. The response from the development community and gamers was phenomenal. All of your voices have been heard, and today there are creative teams around the world working with us to define the future of gaming and entertainment. We have Project Morpheus in our booth at E3 this year, with two new demos, so I encourage all of you to stop by and try it. Up next is someone who has a 15-year history at PlayStation. That would be cool. That includes eight years at Worldwide Studios in London, and he also served as president of Sony Computer Entertainment. Because oh, I think you're good. <laughs> oh, I okay. personally know him for more than 20 <laughs> years, and when I think of the game behind me, I can't help but think of him. He was most recently the COO of Sony Network Entertainment, and now as president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment America, he's charged with, quite simply, making sure PlayStation completely surpasses your wildest expectations. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Sean Layden. Thank you, Andy. And, thank, and thanks to all of you for the, for the really warm welcome uh, out here on stage. Wow, there's Hi, a Andrew. lot of people in this room. Say what? I've been to every E3 except the very fine? first one. Yeah, kind of. From it's hard to hear you just because, my, Atlanta, again, I'm coming through LA. speakers, but uh, I think so. Nocturnal. Down, never thought can you hear? for a second that I might have the honor and privilege of being on this stage before all of you. And while it is a great honor to be here, I got to say that the strongest emotion I'm feeling right now is excitement. And, and more than a little pressure. But I'm completely and utterly thrilled to be here. As you've witnessed already, the thirst for innovation at PlayStation is tremendous. Our lineup of genre and blockbusting titles is a testament to that. And our desire to bring great games to all of you is matched by our commitment to bring a great gaming experience throughout the world of PlayStation. So let's start by talking about PSN. Okay, Our network cool. is robust and ever-evolving to deliver the experience gamers want. This is the PlayStation and loud and clear what you're looking was for. Was it now play or powerful way play on demand? Share or? your experiences and connect with your friends. Absolutely, have no idea what he's community. talking about. To that end, we continue to bring new tools to the PS4 faithful to enable that desire for shared experience, such as Share Factory share and the photo mode in Second Sun. And we'll continue to enhance our features that redefine how, when, and where gamers play. Thanks, buddy, but I got Adobe Premiere. A quick Don't need it. That reality is frankly awesome. Nearly 95% of PS4s worldwide are connected to the network. And the social activity is astounding. More than one and a quarter billion hours have been spent gaming. <laughs> I definitely added a large chunk of that. Sessions have been played on PS4 since launch. That's a lot of deathmatch. The share button on the DualShock 4 has been pressed 220 million times. As gamers and yeah, well, your and right trigger and your left thumbstick don't gameplay. hold up good. Both of them crapped out of my first controller. Climb even higher when we bring YouTube to PS4 later this year. Oh, nice. That'll be good. With the simple press of the DualShock 4 share button, PS4 gamers will be able to quickly upload video captures to their YouTube channel. Oh, you are? Not, are you on PS4 Nocturnal? Obviously, if you're in the beta. You will also be able to see your friends' shared YouTube videos in your What's New activity feed. PS4 is also the first console to allow you to live broadcast and spectate game sessions. Already, more than 150 million spectate sessions have been viewed on PS4, and we're constantly innovating this experience as well. Yeah, I've so, done a few of them. When you're watching at home some schlock horror movie 
Sometimes haven't you felt the need to, or the desire to scream at the, the television screen, look out behind you or don't open that door? Well now, only on PS4, you can effectively do just that while spectating, and they will get the message. Not only can you watch someone's gameplay in real time, you can now interact with that person's game experience while they're playing. You can help them, you can harm them, it's up to you. But you're right there with them. This is another way we're going to redefine what social gaming can really mean. This summer, we will further enhance PS4's broadcasting capabilities with some new content for The Playroom. The free DLC will allow you to easily create your own custom broadcasting sets so you can further personalize your message and content for the wider gamer, wider gamer community. Oh, see, that's the interesting. The site of what has always made PlayStation great, we're using the network to bring you more of what you want. Awesome gaming experiences. Games that are that, epic and challenging, and games that are more accessible. They're making them PBRs more and more worth it, huh? We're committed to making game PlayStation the best destination for free to play games. Free to play offers a great way to discover new worlds and experiences. Have you messaged me, Nocturnal? Will explode on PlayStation. On uh, PlayStation? Right now. We have more than 25 free-to-play games coming to PS4 in the next 12 months. I'd say friend request me, but I have this turned off. Kingdom Under Fire 2 from Blueside. Planet Side 2 from Sony Online Entertainment. There you go. And Guns Up from Valkyrie Entertainment. And on PlayStation, at point of entry, free-to-play means free to play. Let's take a look at that. Well, hit me up, dude. We play. Play this on PC. What is this? Um, well, this is actually two games they're showing now, a third game, but the first one was Planet Side 2. Oh. They've been talking about that for a while, right? Yeah, they're finally bringing it to the PS4. Yeah, I've been told to look at that. They were trying to bring it to the PS3, but they canceled the idea. Yeah. I think they're trying pretty hard to keep the last gen stuff moving along, but I don't know. I, I, didn't they? Didn't they support the original Xbox for quite a while and PlayStation before um, before they moved to the PS3 and the 360? I thought they yeah, actually they were trying, did. I think. Okay. Yeah, I'd probably do it, I imagine, a bit for these ones. But I hope they give it up, because I just feel like it's downgrading the quality of some PS4 go. stuff. We just talked and about X1, probably, I don't know. And the joy of discovery. And a X1, in my opinion, has slightly lower graphics, but it's still pretty good. Ways to access content. Yeah, my buddies that I play with, I told them that whatever the console we go to, We'll doesn't matter to me. Wherever they go, I go. They chose PS4, so went from 360 to PS4. We have continued to tweak and refine. I've played all of them since its initial beta test, and are proud I've to announce. I've never even touched a one. That the service will be available. Here you go, Nocturnal. I just don't like how large the controllers are. As an open beta. I've heard that. PS4 I've never even picked one up. Starting July 31st. The ones like the Xbox, they always like to make their controllers. Shortly after that, PS Now will become available on PS3 and PlayStation Vita as well. We also 
we also want to unlock our library of games to those who still don't own a PlayStation device. So later this year, we're bringing the PlayStation Now experience to select Sony televisions. If PS Now is available in your area, all you need to do is get a DualShock 3 and you're able to play our vast catalog of games. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. During the open beta, PlayStation gamers will have access to more than 100 PS3 games from the industry's best publishers, our own worldwide studios, as well as the best of the indie development community. In our booth at E3 this week, you can play such major hits as Dead Space 3, God of War Ascension, Dead Space is scary. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus, and Ultra Street Fighter 4. We'll use the I'll open be beta, continue to listen to your feedback, and gather insights about your experience with the service. We'll also work with our publishing partners to test a range of rental durations and prices. We do look forward to hearing from everyone who participates in the beta, as your voice will have a direct impact on the development of our service. Bringing PlayStation Now to PlayStation Vita is another example of our commitment to the platform. With PS Now, Vita will have the best catalog of games available on a mobile device, and the only mobile device with access to the deep library of PlayStation games. Innovation on Vita continues, and its integration with PlayStation 4 has expanded the way gamers use the device. Remote play gives Vita owners quick access to PS4 games, and the response has been overwhelmingly positive. With remote play, PS4 blockbusters, such as Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed, will further showcase PlayStation Vita as the ultimate mobile platform. Uh, can you hear me fine? Yep. In total, there are more than 100 Vita titles in development today. I had the sensitivity way too Tales low. Tales of Hearts R from Namco. No, it was Yeah. Ubisoft's Voice sensitivity was cutting out. hand-drawn RPG, Child of Light. <laughs> and Telltale's mashup with Gearbox, Tales from Borderlands. Minecraft is also coming to Vita, and it will be the full console experience with co-op included. I've never played Minecraft. I know a lot of people who are obsessed with it, but I don't know. I'm sure it's cool. I never tried it, though. Key pillar for us. And we look forward to sharing more gaming experience across Vita-dedicated titles, PlayStation Now, and PS4 remote play. Tales from Borderlands? Oh, the stream froze. Yeah, there we go. At Tokyo Game Show last year, what did you say about Borderland? Another new console. Oh, there's a, the a PSV, PS Vita game called Tales from the Borderlands. As a result, never heard of I do not have a very wide States, array of Canada games. Starting this fall. I'm realizing this. Everybody's like, oh, you know, so number two of this. I never heard of it. Never played it. What is this? This little gem will be able to pair with your PlayStation 4, allowing you to play your PS4 game via remote play on a second television in your home. It will give you access to video and music streaming services, will give you the ability to play hundreds of PS3 titles made available through PlayStation Now, and of course, PlayStation really TV true. will also I... play most Vita titles, as well as PS1 and PSP classics. In fact, our Disney partnership continues with Disney Infinity 2. What is that little thing? Coming to PlayStation TV. Yeah, I didn't quite catch that. What? I've got my volume way down. So what is that? For your remote playing what? In total, that's nearly 1,000 games. I think it's a remote extender. TV owners will have access to is it for playing like last or old gen games? Is it like a basically TV tiny? Will be available for $99. It's probably a media box. That's what it seems like, huh? So anything last gen or whatever, also offer a bundle or that you can get through PS Now. That will include a I think it helps um, synchronize with the Vita better an too. HDMI cable and a digital voucher for 
That's kind of cool. This like, things like the size of a USB. From a hard drive. New games. New hardware. It does. New network services. PlayStation TV. The pace Thanks, of Nocturnal. And PlayStation continues to accelerate. And as our world expands, we will stay true to our roots to create imaginative games Crazy. that foster fun while pioneering new gaming concepts. A little earlier, I was delighted to hear Andy give a shout out to one of the most iconic games of our time, Vib Ribbon. Yeah, give it up for Vib Ribbon. A personal favorite of mine that really embodies the PlayStation spirit. It wasn't a multi-million seller, but that's not the point. Vib Ribbon was unafraid to go against the tide. It was courageous in its ambition, and it brought a completely new experience to gamers. It's an incredible time to be part of the PlayStation family. I look forward to growing our gaming community through breakthrough experiences that inspire and delight. After all, guys, it's all about the games, isn't it? Maybe I'll go to E3 next year. And speaking of games, in 1996, I got my start at PlayStation in Japan, importing and localizing games from the US and Europe for the Japanese market. That's kind of like trying to import wine into Napa Valley. But one nah, of the I won't be going to E3. Was Mortal Kombat 3 on PS1. Well, you got it. You got it better than I do. You actually just... How far is that? Like, what, an hour and a half? To the Japanese gamer. Uh, I think it's about That's an hour right. and a half. Um, it's a tremendous Billy Convention Center, right? And a unique thrill for me. Sure. To introduce I don't know. All I know is i got to get a plane ticket if I want to go. Of gameplay footage for Mortal Kombat X. Yeah, I just couldn't afford the ticket. It's like about a hundred bucks for a basic, isn't it? Yeah. I tire of maintaining our innocence. I will relieve you of your burden. You offend this one, Thera. I could probably talk to a burning in E3 fast. Exterminate. Fine, pretty cool. I like those uh, X-ray bone breaker moves. Remember that on that Mortal, what Mortal Kombat? Game? They're gonna show an awesome. Yeah, the X-ray moves are pretty cool. Yeah. I like to see when the bone just shatter. <laughs> that motion blur seems... I don't know if it's because of the stream or... Seems like it's almost a bit much though. Oh! <laughs> it's pretty damn cool. Motion blur seems a bit much. Oh, she's like a spider. Is that a dead body just flop out of the water? Yeah. What's that little midget? Oh, that was cool. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, so brutal. Damn awesome. Oh, it's so brutal. Good God. Finish him. Oh no. Dead. Oh my God. <laughs> Good Lord. Dude, that is so freaking brutal. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Really, what can you say? 
And for Fact some reason, I'm really hungry. A PlayStation, we know building a portfolio of incredible <laughs> games is powerful. medium rare steak. But we also know that PS4 owners are using the console right. extensively for watching their favorite movies, TV shows, and listening to music. What'd you think there, Nocturnal? PS4 owners are using the likes of Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, He's gonna say, shut Hulu up and Plus, take my money. Unlimited. And our entertainment offering on PS4 is about to take a new superhero twist. Sony is one of the largest entertainment brands in the world, and we're fully utilizing its vast resources to bring new experiences and more value to PS4. Last year, Michael Linton joined us on stage to announce that Sony Pictures Entertainment is developing brand new original programming available exclusively on PS4. Oh, and they're going to go and we're not just by way of the Xbox content. now, huh? Kind of like a late in line with our game plan, in my opinion. Quality entertainment experiences. We're developing and curating content that is hmm. tailored to yeah, the Xbox the way. really pushing the media stuff Our at first. first original series is called Powers and is based on the critically acclaimed graphic novel series. Thank you. Power? Of the same name created by Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Avon Oming. It was good, you In guys. Addition to Powers, I know many of I think you it was the coolest one I saw. Maybe just because I'm violent. He's one know. of the highest selling Marvel comic writers ever. He also sits on the Marvel Creative Committee and has consulted on every Marvel movie since Iron Man. Please join me in giving a great PlayStation welcome to Powers co-creator and executive producer for the series, Brian Michael Bendis. Maybe because I'm violent. Thank you, Andy. Hello, PlayStation Nation. It is an honor to be here personally, and we are so excited to officially announce to you that Powers has been greenlit two series from Sony Television and PlayStation. Thank you. For those of you who don't know what Powers is, Powers is based on the comic book and graphic novel series of the same name created by myself and artist Michael Avon Oming, and it tells the story of Christian Walker and Dina Pilsen. See, I didn't kind of got a agree of Nocturnal. That were cases I, specifically and about power I was going to respond to that by saying I haven't really played a whole lot. I mean, again, I know it's going to surprise you guys, but I have played a lot of Mortal Kombat over the years. Um, I mean, I played the hell out of the first couple, the originals. Uh, one and Christian two and three, I think. And then after that, I didn't really play. Here with us, having lost his powers, in between, there are a whole lot. I mean, some. But those who cannot answer for themselves. I don't know. It, it would be a nice game where you could just pick it up, play it for like 15 um, minutes or something, you know? Will be some of his oldest friends. Some of these cases will be his longest running enemies. Uh, but every case is going to show us something new about our characters. It's going to show us something about what we've developed in the comic, which is a pretty sprawling mythology ab about superheroes. And it's also going to show us what a world with superheroes would really be like, how we would really treat them, how they would immerse our culture, how they would affect our fashion. And we're just immensely proud of it, and we're immensely proud that we're here today to bring it to I wasn't looking topic. at the uh, now, title I'm there. Who's Uncle gamer, Fester? Game writer, Who's this guy? And I know that gamers and comic book lovers, we love our genre hardcore we love our genres to mash up right, to show us something new to show us something original and one of my jobs just one of the guys the show is to make sure that the tv show all i can think about is the adams family the gave us, that it has all the integrity and faster that we've built <laughs> all there with all the authenticity that we can muster now the good news is we have this great team behind the scenes our showrunner speaking of faster i just watched that movie Charlie again Houston. Our executive producer is Randy Obushan from Falling Sky. I just watched that movie. Our oh. executive producer is David Engel from Circle Confusion, and they brought us The Walking Dead. Yeah, uh, Nocturnal, what's the uh, big one on the agenda, do we know? Or the rumor? I was more looking at the hard line stuff that I did earlier. As we speak, Honestly, I haven't researched this one a whole lot. Underway, and all summer long, we're going to have all kinds of announcements and teases and all kinds of stuff for you online. Uh, but... Just to give you something for today, let's show you some uh, brand new concept art that just came from our concept artist, and I think it shows you just a little taste of what we're going to have, which is like everything I love about you know gritty crime fiction and spectacular superheroes 
mash it up together for something completely new. On behalf of Michael Avon Oming and the producers and everyone working on the show, the writers, I want to thank Sony Television, I want to thank PlayStation, and thank all of you who have been so vocal in your support of the book for all these years and the idea of a TV show. We're coming to you on PlayStation. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thanks, Brian. PlayStation 4 owners won't have to wait long for power, so I'm happy to announce that it will be available in the U.S. in December. We want to make sure that as many PlayStation fans as possible get an opportunity to experience bye bye, our vision for original content. So every PSN user in the U.S. will get to watch the first episode of Powers for free. As you're aware, we're constantly bringing more value to the PlayStation Plus subscription service. Today, this comes in the form of discounted games, early access to beta programs, and the instant game collection, which has resulted in a 190% increase in Global Plus subscribers since oh, really? the Nocturne? launch. We'll be adding more value to Plus in the What's future, up with that? including our original program. I think I heard of it. I'm pleased to announce that all Plus subscribers in the U.S. will be able to view the entire Powers series for free. Oh, really? Hmm. In addition to original content, we're also leveraging World no recent Studios' news well on that franchises and Sony's family of media channels to bring new theatrical content to existing PlayStation fans and entirely new audiences. Here's a look at Ratchet & Clank, the movie. I've always dreamt of being a Galactic Ranger, doing big things like Captain Cork. You don't have what it takes. Wait, God. Just give me a chance. All right, no time. Galaxy in jeopardy. Get back out there. And remember, you can do anything. As long as you're me. Q Monto! Uh, they're saying that the Guardian was canceled. That was a close one, huh? Well. Yeah, that is gonna show up on my mid-year review. What's that new one that they came out with when PS4 launched? Ratchet and Clank creator Insomniac Games is heavily involved Knack? in the film. Reminds me of the and same type of thing. we're also working with the studio to reimagine the original Ratchet and Clank for PS4. The game will feature completely new visuals and gameplay sequences that will rival the best PS4 games on the market. Both the movie and game will be available in the first half of 2015. And we'll continue to release no idea, but they actually, uh, content and titles only available they've on said that PlayStation. It's actually, the there rumor is gone. They're saying anything. that it is not cancelled for we The Last in Guardian. April that the Last of Us. A game that won more than 200 Sony World of the Studios Awards told last people that it's open. Being remastered for PS4. Still in development. Let's see what's in store. This is supposed to be a good one. I've heard is like someone told me to buy a PS3 just for this game. Which one? The Last of Us. Yes, it's a damn good game. Played it, beat it. You have to watch it. I've seen a little bit of it. It did kind of grab my interest. I've just heard it's like the game of, what, 2013, I think it was? Yeah. If you play it from the beginning, it's like, whoa, what the hell? It'll like shock you straight out from the beginning. Now, is it an open world type game or is it like a linear storyline? Linear. Okay. Freaking so many zombie games though. What have we seen? Dead Island 2, H1Z1, Last of Us, um, I guess DayZ, but that's more of a mod, not 
like a triple A game, although I think it kind of became one. I know there's more. Obviously, Resident Evil has been around. Can't really knock on them, they've been doing their thing for a long time. Yeah, I'll probably get it too, not gonna. Oh! Comes out next month. As you've seen tonight, we have the industry's best developers creating games for PS4 right now. And there's more. A long-standing partnership with Kojima Productions and Konami has been a staple of the PlayStation history. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce a new trailer that some of you might have gotten a sneak peek of last night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. This is the full game, right? Because the other one was like a short, a short game. This is actually a uh, full length, isn't it? It was like the Which prequel. One? The Last of Us? No, Metal Gear. Are you watching from our stream? Yeah, I'm watching it from your stream. It's kind of slow. Yeah, go to um, twitch.tv forward slash Sony. Watch from that one. That way you can keep up with me. Standing okay. On the edge Might make it easier for you. The crater, like the prophets once said, and the ashes. I'm pretty sure this is the full length because I think the Ground Zeroes was the prequel. And the embers are dead. Whispers in the air. <laughs> Tell the tales. Yeah, that's kind of what I got from the two nocturnal. I didn't get the other one after I found that out. I kind of. I think I'll get this guy. That looks good. Did you find the channel there okay, Dubs? Yeah, I'm on the PlayStation's main one. Good. Okay. Probably less delayed now. Because I'm pulling in the channel and then the saying something and then you're getting my 30 second delay. He's really screwed up. I remember the first Metal Gear, the original Street Trip. Played that game too many times. I forget the ones I've played, but I remember uh, spraying this one chick and making her piss herself with the fire extinguisher. <laughs> if you spray her enough times with the fire extinguisher, she'll piss herself. <laughs> Um, I think it's the one where you, you have to use the heartbeat sensor. The mission. Cinematic looks so clean. Solid by Phantom Pain.
Looks good to me. Metal Gear Solid 5 on PS4 is going to be amazing. And now, let's take a look at something from a company that I've had a personal relationship with since the PS2 era. Their games have kept PlayStation gamers up late at night for generations as they pioneered new genres and new experiences. Take a look. H one Z one. I had no idea, but it kind of like GTA five. Oh, I thought it was a zombie movie. <laughs> Just... Yeah, GTA five. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I know a few people on our clan are gonna flip out. I've heard that's one of mine. I'm thrilled to announce that Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming to PlayStation 4 this fall. Grand Theft Auto 5 takes full advantage of the power of PS4 and features a host of enhancements and new details for players to discover. Plus, the current community of PS3 players and Xbox 360 players will have the ability to transfer their GTA online progress and characters to the PlayStation 4. And that's good for people who played it. I never played it, I just went ahead and waited. Because PS4 was coming out. Not done yet. There's still rumors going on that it's coming to PC, but I'm not holding my breath. from the acclaimed studio Rocksteady <laughs> and publishing giant Warner Brothers. Please, take a look. Okay. Crisis. No. Batman. I'd say so. Bruce, I found Penguin. All right, Dubs, all you for a minute. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break here. Actually, I was about to take a break too. Be careful. I'm on my way. I'll be back in a few seconds, so no big deal. I still gotta rate this a pretty good damn graphics rate. Nine out of ten. And I'm back. Running diagnostics. Thermal imaging shows the Archimedes tanks are unmanned and controlled remotely. You're clear to engage. Weapon systems online. Be careful. What do you think of this one, Nocturnal?
I keep hearing that. I've never played any of them, to be honest, but huh, there's my answer once again. What do we do? Well, I've heard good stuff all the time. Wicked. Fear, violence, darkness, helplessness. What's his name? The Jack o' Lantern? All that remains is for you to watch as I drag your beloved Gotham oh God. into oblivion. Wicked looking. I like it. Spectacular and even more smoke than at the EA press conference. Batman Arkham Knight on PlayStation 4 will be amazing and comes with scarecrows that are only available on PlayStation. PlayStation remains steadfast in our commitment to provide gamers the Scarecrow. thrills, That's deep cool. narrative experiences, and challenging gameplay they desire. Our team of creative minds is passionate about doing one thing better than anyone else, creating the best place to play. I'd like to leave you with one last title from one of the finest studios in the world that captures the very best of the PlayStation spirit. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful evening. What is it, Nocturnal? I'm gonna guess. Uh, what is this? So, what do you think? It's a lot to take in, kid. Where do I even start? Oh, I got cut You've on been it. out of the game for a long time. Or maybe I need to remind you the kind of people we'd be crossing here. Sully, I know the risks, but come on, it's a surefire plan. <laughs> yeah. If there's one thing I've learned in all these years, it's there's no such thing as a surefire plan. I don't really have an option here. You know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. I've I'm been short. out of the game, but I need back in. So can I count on you? One last time. All right, kid. Let's go do it. One last time. You gonna get this one? Like that is the wrap up of Sony's press conference.
Wow, lots and lots of game. I didn't watch Microsoft. Was it quite a bit better? It seemed pretty good. I was actually at work. Microsoft did their thing. Because they were first thing in the morning, right? There it is. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching the live stream here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a little bit of a break, and then we will go watch Tram play some Hardline, and I will pull the stream back up, and we will pull his into our channel, and we'll watch it and enjoy it and all that stuff. So again, I'm Ender with Hardcore Battlefield Community. It is facebook.com forward slash hardcore battlefield you can see it in the bottom left and uh, I am also part of eternal nemesis you can see the link there in the bottom right facebook.com forward slash Ian clan you can also follow us on twitch if you're not here live with us right now twitch.tv forward slash eternal underscore nemesis and on that note I am going to go ahead and leave the stream on and we will be back shortly Hey, I'm Aaron Mason, also known as ZZXX Dubs, and I'll be going out and watching the stream. Uncharted 4, topping it all off. Just an amazing variety. Are you kidding me? Come on, what are you trying to do to a girl? Your Nathan Drake crush is getting a little out of hand. I know. Now the good news, yeah, we're just getting started with all this. I mean, we're gonna be here all week. We're gonna be here through Thursday. We're gonna be getting interviews with a lot of these guys, hands-on gameplay with a lot of these guys, new trailers, the works. If you saw it here and you wanted to know more, we've probably got it for you this week. So you, so you definitely want to check us out. It's us.playstation.com for the stream. There's an app. Yep, you can download the app for the PlayStation for uh, PlayStation Store for your PS4. It's the E3 app, so go download that. Check us out on Ustream or at PlayStation.com. Yep. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, cool guys. I will be back in just a few minutes. I'm gonna get the. Uh, I saw useful. You just joined here. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Um, guess what? We're going to pull Tram's hardline stream in and um, broadcast it through here. So give me a few minutes. I will be back. <laughs>